Welcome back to Alibaba Advanced Success Guide. And in this video, we are going to be talking about advice and best practices from top sellers on the search process in Alibaba in terms of finding a great product to sell. Now, you always want to be a marketer who is taking a look at what you buy and making it sure first and foremost that it fits all of the other parameters on price and cost. We've talked about the fact that you want to make sure that you can mark it up by 100%. We want to make sure that we are looking at products that are above $10 and typically below $150. So if all of those other things are in play and you have eliminated those as potential barriers, then you're ready to move on and start talking about other areas that you can start to look for great products. Now, one of the questions that uh, successful sellers really do ask themselves is what kind of items have become popular over the years due to people's changing habits? And this is really representative of a trend. Although we're not talking about a market niche, it does indicate where a market is going. And so you can look at things like technology. In other words, how have people's habits changed in terms of technology? We already know that people are more mobile savvy, so that can represent other market opportunities in terms of being able to buy cases and things that would represent or things that will facilitate people being able to use their technology. We also know that people are taking care of their health in better ways, and so we want to be able to look at how can we help people use the information that they're getting to make better decisions about their health and to implement those decisions into their lives. There are all kinds of possibilities that are there when we begin to look at how to help people to implement the changes they want to do in their health. We know that work has changed. People are no longer going to nine to five jobs. They're now working at their home. They're now working at different hours. What kinds of things can we do in order to support people in the different kind of work environments that they're in? People are traveling more. People are actually doing freelancing. How can we help people facilitate what it is that they're doing in terms of their work? If you know how your habits maybe are, are changing in terms of your work, you can translate that into the kinds of things that you're buying differently and the kinds of things that people will buy differently and are buying differently. Family. We all know that because work has changed, because health has changed, obviously family relationships have changed and family configurations have changed. And giving people the leeway and giving people the opportunity to have more connection with their family. We also know that people are aging differently and configurations of generations are changing. So what can we do to help people to make better choices and to be able to take those choices that they're making and to be able to implement them in their lives? So you can start to look at these trends broadly to figure out what will people buy differently as a result of changing technology? What will people buy differently or what do they want to buy because they're getting more information about their health their health what do people want to buy because they are working in different environments and in different configurations what do people want to buy as a result of the fact that generations are changing and configurations of those generations are changing these are the things that top sellers really have a good handle on in terms of picking great products to sell Now, this is a key that many top sellers will say that they watch for things that people buy that they don't need. What they're basically doing is looking for things that people really want, that people will spend money on regardless of what their budget is and regardless of what they might have in terms of constraints of their money. When people buy the things that they want, these are going to be the kinds of things that when they're made available, People will act irrationally in order to get them. And so you want to be able to sense those trends and to be able to have products that will suit the needs of people who do this kind of buying. And to kind of go along with that, some of the best products represent things that are impulse buys based on the trends you recognize that haven't taken hold nationally or internationally. If you recognize something that's a part of a hot trend that people are buying irrationally, 
this can be a great market opportunity if you know how to take advantage of it and find the right product that people will actually want, use, and need. And then, as a, as a sub-thought, irrational passion can represent a great market arbitrage opportunity. What you'll see is that people will be willing to buy something that's representative of a hot trend. They'll buy it quickly. And if you can be there in the market while that passion is going on, you'll be able to take advantage of that opportunity. Of course, it does take some savvy to know how much inventory to buy and not buy and how to get it in front of the actual people. These are the practices of top sellers in terms of finding great products to sell on Alibaba. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.